Good morning, my dear friends. This is Somesh Khandilwal from Book My Admission. So after the great success of my two webinars, I am encouraged to make this third one, which where we will discuss today that what choices you will be having after NEET result declaration. What choices you will be having after NEET result declaration. So this is part of our series MBBS admission strategies after NEET 2018. Hope you are comfortable and watching and listening this important webinar on your computer, laptop or mobile. Today in next 45 minutes, we will cover following topics. What choices you will be having after NEET result declaration? Government, private, regular fees, management quota fees, or NRI way. What strategy you should follow to ensure your admission in MBBS? And should we take drop or go abroad? More lessons from the year 2017 and 16. So we all are going to discuss this in today's webinar. I would like to request you that if you like this webinar, please share. We will send you this YouTube link. Please share that YouTube link with your, your friends. And you can also ask your queries through calling on our toll free number, which is written here. And uh, you can also comment in comment box. We will definitely answer your queries. So what choices you will be having after NEET result declaration? If you are one of the 13 lakh students willing to become a doctor, you required coming in top 9-10% in the merit list of NEET. However, if you study well and in disciplined manner, then you can surely do this and can accomplish your dream to become a doctor. Government, private, management quota, NRI, abroad, drop, change the career. These are the options we are going to discuss today. So, like we already discussed in the last two webinars that government, everybody wants admission in government seats. No problem. But for that, we need to come at the top. So if you are coming in at top, you will celebrate on the NEET uh, declaration day. You will celebrate and the world will celebrate with you. And I must know that students who are watching this YouTube channel right now, out of many of you will come on top out of this 13 lakh students and will get admission in government seats. Definitely, my all best wishes are with you. No problem. if. Few of you are not able to get admission in government. The private colleges are there. There are 400 private colleges in India. So you go ahead, go in a state quota, apply your forms and find and try to get admission over there. Fees ranging is around 3 lakh to 7 lakh per year. But still, because you, you know, I told you that Indian private colleges are also not good because they also follow the rules of Medical Council of India and WHO and Health Ministry, same as government colleges are offering. And private colleges having also good hospitals and good footfalls of patients. So not to worry about if you are getting private colleges in India, private medical colleges in India, not to worry at all. If not there in a regular fees, then management quota fees. Management quota fees is much higher guys but if you are, if you you have no financial problem your parents can afford then go for management quota anyhow because you have chosen career uh, to become a doctor and if you afford it go for management quota no harm in that there will be same college same faculties will going to taught you nri if you have somebody outside India having good income, there are a lot of students in India, a lot of families in India 
whose earning sources are abroad, like their father is an abroad, or real uncle, or uh, auntie, or mother, if they are, or grandfather also, if they are in abroad, they are earning good, they are having good net worth, so take a sponsorship from them and fill the NRI seat, have, take the NRI seat and start your career in medicine at NRI seat. There is no harm in that, right? What if you thought that, okay, these four options are not possible this year due to any reason, then there will be some students who may uh, want to take a drop, this drop one year. So you might be asked, thinking about the take, option of taking drop. Should you drop a year to prepare again? Yes, you may, or yes, you may not. So what are the pro and cons of taking drop? What are the advantages and disadvantages of taking one year drop to prepare uh, again and ex giving exam next year. So you, if you take drop, you will take, you will get one more year to prepare. Guys, you will get one more year to prepare. So I suggest you should take drop if you are uh, not able to get get admission in government or private medical colleges in India only because of some fraction of marks. If you got very good marks. And there are some fraction of marks are you 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 lost the seat only because of few marks. Then definitely you should take drop. You will also get experience of your attempt because you have wrote your need this year. So if some marks are minimum uh, are less only, then you can go for uh, dropping drop your one year because you will next year you will get advantage of your experience also, right? There are a few disadvantages also. What are the disadvantages of taking drop? Foremost is competition. You know that in uh, last year, there are 11 lakh students have appeared in NEET and this year around 13 lakh students appeared the NEET. So two, two lakh students have increased this year. It means that around 15 to 18 percent students increased year on year. Okay, so uh, this will be a disadvantage. You can also say students that there might be a stressful one year because you may see that your fast friends, your classmates are going to medical school. Uh, maybe uh, they got more marks or they may spend more money or maybe uh, they are coming in some, uh, some categories, so they are going to the medical school, but you are sitting at home and preparing again for NEET only, and they are studying medicine. So sometimes, you know, uh, there must be some stressful days, you know, like they are putting their pictures in a medical school on Facebook, Instagram, and you are uh, sitting at home uh, without uh, uh, any other thing than NEET. So, there might be a stressful year, but if you are a very strong minded and you can, you have a good balance of minds, so you can take drop. There may be in a, a law of inflation will also applicable. Uh, maybe next year fees may increase, your cost of education will increase some somewhat, so that will also be appear to applicable to you. This year fees will be applicable only if you start your medicine this year. But if you start your medicine next year, then the fees will be applicable uh, of 2019-20. So your cost, total cost will definitely increase because this one year uh, of your total career cost, you know, that uh, will be increased. Your one year will count it as uh, uh, preparing for NEET, like this year also you prepared for NEET, that is a cost, and coming year also you are going, going to prepare for NEET, that is also will a cost. So uh, your total cost will increase to achieve your career, and your total years will also increase. Like if you are joining your medical school in age of 17 or 18, or you are joining your medical school in the age of 19 or 20. So that will also increase. You know that a lot of Indian students across India are repeating. And uh, uh, out of that, how many actually able to join 
medicine next year or later years that is called as vicious circle if you take drop this year and again next year if you are not able to get seat then what will be happen so that will be a very uh, we can say that pity situation a, a, a not good situation which anybody wants to be so uh, if you are uh, i advise you if you have very few marks left uh, this year then only you should uh, uh, go for taking drop it is my genuine suggestion and maybe uh, uh, the admission process admission process can also be little bit changed next year so you have to follow next year admission process if you are joining astrology anatomy or physics to study the old subjects only which you have studied in 11th and 12th if you take drop so guys uh, take your decision wisely yes you have an option of uh, forgetting your dream to become a doctor forget if you are not getting seat through need this year in india on uh, any private or uh, management quota or this uh, government seats then you can have a option of changing your mindset which is being from last many years from even though there are some students who thought to become a doctor in their childhood itself so you can go for bsc you can go for dental you can can go for physiotherapy uh, you can go for veterinary medicine you can go for biotechnology you can go for bams you can go for bhms or bums nursing optometry audio and speech therapist or other medical technicians like x ray technicians and uh, b pharma dairy and agriculture programs you can do so there are very many other career options will you will be having other than becoming a doctor so it's up to you that uh, how strong your will to become a doctor how strong your dream to become a doctor what your parents uh, thought about it what your friends are th thought about it or you, what your siblings are thought about it and so that will be in joint decision of your family so be to be a doctor one choice to be not to be a doctor it is i am saying it very easily but i know that is very tough decision for you and uh, i don't know then there is an option of abroad is it better to study mbbs abroad after researching all the major countries offering medical education to indian students and observing feedback about their key hospitals and their medical universities by meeting with their higher management academicians and students currently studying and doctors passed out from those universities we at bookmay admission accepted that their quality of education and, and inspired to recommend studying mbbs md or medicine abroad there are many countries like usa philippines russia china ukraine belarus caribbean georgia azerbaijan mauritius nepal bangladesh armenia to name are the major countries where indian students are going every year around 30 40 000 indian students are opting for going abroad to fulfill their dream to become a doctor but if you have an unchanging aim to be a doctor then the world is a campus and many good medical universities in various countries have opened their medical education for indian students and helping them fulfill their dream with all their resources you can choose one medical university among many subject to your eligibility your budget and availability of their seats fees and facilities necessary for education and living 
maximum of the foreign universities that is doesn't have donation okay they don't have donation policy they charge you only tuition fees no entrance exam there is no entrance exam in maximum medical universities abroad offering mbbs to indian students so you will have a direct admission process no quota like in india we have lot of quotas like uh, in general category reserve category this um, uh, what we call it uh, obc st sc so indian education system is divided into quota seats are divided but in uh, uh, abroad out of india there are no such quotas they only take you uh, on the basis of your 12th mark sheet okay 12th marks no fees fluctuation is also there there is no fees changes in foreign universities so you can you rest assured about it whatever fees is uh, uh, contracted with you with the university this they, that will not be changed same duration like in india also we have four five years and one year for internship so same uh, in almost all universities in all countries having this this same uh, year of the duration same language english is the language of higher education in india same language is available in almost all universities offering mbbs uh, medical education program so you don't need to learn languages also in many countries same worldwide accepted degree just like indian medical degree is accepted worldwide these foreign countries medical universities also accepted worldwide because indian uh, colleges are also recognized by mci and who and foreign universities or colleges are also recognized by their own medical councils indian medical council and supreme who and many universities are also recognized by ecfmg famer amc type of worldwide uh, recognition regulatory bodies so that also uh, one thing to understand then same worldwide prevailed curriculum like the ug and pg medical education curriculum is almost same everywhere like uh, uh, sometimes we laugh that uh, in indian uh, indian body also everybody has uh, same number of bones which americans having or uh, arabians having or uh, filipinos having or georgian having or uh, russian having same bones same size number of bones so there is their anatomy is also same physiology is also same same pedagogy assessment and semester pedagogy is also almost similar the way they teach in india uh, medical education the same way uh, in foreign medical colleges they teach so guys a very important thing i would like to mention here if you are cautious enough and having good academic profile then it is most likely that you are admitted in the university having like if you are cautious enough and having good academic profile then it is most likely that you are admitted in a university better than any other university in india or abroad you you may have better infrastructure having good patient flow and modern medical methodology in practice you may have better faculties if you choose good university abroad you may have better faculty faculties having great academic profile with long experience of teaching medicine right better exposure offers better exposure to indian students in terms of clinical rotation and patient exposure if you able to choose good universities out of many foreign universities if you choose good university then you will have better exposure better opportunities after education opportunities like settling in developed country and getting their license is must better chances in some medical universities abroad good opportunity to travel around the world and learn and experience different cultures opportunity to make significant contribution to your society and to your country after graduation right so guys going if you are choosing to go abroad you can choose definitely 30 40000 is students going but what me my, myself so many shandal wal at book my admission suggest you to choose for an university cautiously okay all glitters are not gold all countries may not good for you 
maybe your friend is going in a some some specific university or in some specific country that may not be good for you or they may, that that option may not be preferable for you every student has a different profile every to every country has a different profile every university has a different profile so you can contact me you can contact our or career counselors across india and uh, you can call to toll free number and you can ask us that what would be better for your specific profile a uh, student profile we count that what how is their marks in 12th how is their neat score how is their english how is their affordability and um, how is their um, uh, communication skills and their Uh, their social skills by these things we can we suggest you a specific university meant for you right over and above if a student studies mbbs abroad in a good medical university then it is more likely that he or she can take advantage of globalization and can practice in developed countries also yes students if you choose your universities uh, correctly then there are chances that you will see yourself working not only in india but you can practice in us australia canada britain european countries also after completion of your mbbs program so choose your destination according to your academic profile financial capabilities and your expectations from your future education avenue at book my admission you will get complete and unbiased information of all avenues of mbbs education worldwide so that you can select according to your preferences and book my admission help you helps you to get into it and hand holds you till you do not achieve your final goal to become a best doctor taking decision to study mbbs in philippines or ukraine or georgia or china or russia is not an easy job but book my admission is providing details which ultimately clear all your doubts and assist in proceeding for admission guys you will see lot of youtube videos and webinars in coming days where we will also explain you very depth knowledge share very depth knowledge of all the countries because i personally visited many countries i told you earlier also that i personally and my team members personally visited many countries our students are also studying in many countries so we have very clear straight and depth knowledge about foreign medical education also so you have an options taking drop taking admission in government or private or management quota or nri or change the career whatever but we said we want you to be a doctor because book my admission we believe what do you believe guys i always tell the same thing that choose the career you love thank you very much for your patience and listening me i hope i am seeing lot of questions here so i am now starting answering them and welcome you all and all the best to become a person you want to be to to have a career you want to have god bless you